Hi everybody, happy Friday. Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. And while I'm recording, I'm opening a box from my friend Judy Lee. She's in my Tilda group, Totally Tilda on Facebook. And she joined, um, I want to say a couple of months ago. And she missed the mason jar swap that we did. And she said she, it was so much fun seeing all of our designs and things that she kind of was sad that she didn't get to, to participate. So I offered to swap with her. Um, oh my gosh, she put a pumpkin spice. Mm, oh my gosh, this smells so good. What a great idea. A lot of people put um, fabric softener sheets and sachets of other things um, in swap boxes but this is so smart pumpkin spice oh my gosh this smells so good I gotta leave it in my craft room so um, anyways I was saying so we decided to do a mason jar swap together just a one-on-one -on -one. and I got her box the other day and I didn't want to open it I wanted to be genuinely surprised by all the goodies in her box so just to kind of peek at the box that she sent me it's uh what are those medium flat rate boxes? I'll give you a little peek, but it's covered with um, really cute duct tape, which I ran out of. I had that roll that I got from, I think, Lowe's. But anyway, um, so as I was saying, she sent me her swap the other day, and I, um, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm getting to open it right now. This is gorgeous. She made me a gorgeous easel card. So let me move my channel sign distractful distracting I should say look at this easel card that is beautiful I love making easel cards so she looks like she used a magnolia tilde which is really cute I don't have the patience of coloring these but you did a great job Judy Judy thank you very much I almost called you Julie I'm sorry Judy um, she used one of these resin pieces these are really really pretty I love these I think I have that mold too and I love making resin pieces with those gorgeous flowers right here and then um, let's see oh I don't I don't want to show you what she wrote to me but it says thank you for my swap um, this her first swap with the Tilda group oh that's very sweet I don't look for all the extra goodies when I'm doing a swap I just appreciate someone swapping with me that is gorgeous thank you very much I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside see all the gorgeous items in the box and this box smells so good because of the pumpkin spice that is gorgeous the way that's wrapped I know I'm saying gorgeous a million times okay everything in the box smells so good. I could just probably leave the box open in my room and everything in here will smell delicious oh oh my gosh you got to see this pin cushion I know I know I'm gonna show you okay I'm gonna put the mason jar aside I want to um, show you all the extra goodies that she sent me. Thank you for including extra goodies. I really appreciate it. Okay, this is a uh, pin cushion, one of those tomato pin cushions that she did. And the, the pins were in the box because it's easier to ship these things when you don't have them, the pin sticking out. But that's gorgeous. I love it. Look at that. That is so cute. I never thought about using two different types of fabrics. I always just use one type of fabric and then do the tomato method. I have a um, tutorial for doing a tomato cushion. So if you like tomato cushions, um, let me know and I'll give you the link to the tutorial or just look through my channel. A little promo of my channel. That is beautiful, Judy. Thank you so much. I'll put that there. And then she made me this. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's like a little Tilda book. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love this fabric. Oh my gosh. Oh, how pretty. It's got little trims right there. Oh, it's a pin book. Okay. I love these. Oh, thank you for that. I love this trim. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That is beautiful. And some buttons. I bet she made these buttons. Oops, one of them popped out. Pop it back in there. 
That is very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. I love this book. That is really, really pretty. Okay, I'll put that back here. And she sent me this little ba a baggie of flowers. Oh, I love those. I mean, I love all of them, but I love those. It's kind of like those the millinery flowers. Um, Judy, tell me where you got these from, please, because I love them. They're gorgeous. And I love the white and peach. and These colors are just perfect. Thank you very much. They're totally tilled off. Okay. Drum roll. So let me go ahead. I know this is like really huge in front of you. This gorgeous piece of um, lace in my one of my favorite colors. I love this minty color. It's beautiful. It's like one large piece. Okay, I got to look at it over here. Wow, that is huge. I can't show you, but it's a big piece. Believe me, it's huge. Okay. I have to share the excitement with you, all of you. Oh, wow. What a beautiful mason jar. That is gorgeous. Doesn't this flower look like it's 3D? I'm looking at it through the camera. Actually, my tablet camera. And it looks like it's like a 3D flower. It like pops out at you. But it's, it's 1D. Look. One dimension. I love the, the doily you put in the background and all the different layers and this cameo is gorgeous. Of course, I already said I love this color. That is beautiful. I should put really pretty trim around the edge of the mason jar. I told her when I made my project for her, um, I didn't have a mason jar and I wanted to work on a special jar that I had. So um, let me go ahead and move this a little bit. So the jar that I'm sending her is kind of a uniquely shaped jar, which she said she's looking forward to see. So hopefully you like it, Judy. I love what you made for me. Oh, let's look at the top. This is the top. We have a little knob right here with the, looks like the Prima. Unless you made this, Judy. Really pretty, like little um, nest. I was trying to look at the word. And these word beads that are really popular right now, which I don't have. I got to get me some. It says, friend, thank you. And then she made it functional for me to open, so that's great. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff inside. Okay, wow. I wasn't expecting the stuff inside. Missy, you spoiled me. Look at all that stuff inside. The beautiful, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love these little Easter, uh, Easter, these little nests. That is so cute. I bet that's a mold. I gotta, I gotta find out how to make those. And then there's doilies inside. Oh, Judy, you have truly blessed me and spoiled me. She has a wand of flower in here. And all just gorgeous things inside of it. Oh, it's a little clip. How cute. Oh, I think you posted this on, on in the group, the Tilda group. That is so cute. I'm gonna put that right there. And then all these goodies inside. I don't want to miss anything. The little doilies in there. I'll leave those in there because I don't want any bling bling. Oh my gosh, Judy. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. I know you crocheted this. Really pretty. I love this color. Oh. Thank you so much for swapping with me. Sometimes these one-on-one -on -one swaps are the best because there's no pressure on timing. This is so pretty. And you get to really know somebody. And... um yeah, sometimes I know it can be scary to swap, and I've been actually wanting to talk about this on social media, but kind of held back. Some people only swap with people that they know. Um, I'm looking through all these gorgeous doilies as I give you my two cents. But, you know, you're really holding yourself back from meeting new people. So um, through my group, I've swapped with people that I don't know. And I would say, um, you know... 100% of the time that I've swapped with them, it's been a pleasure because I've met new people and I've experienced, you know, different styles of crafting. And so um, just some advice from me to you, if you're watching this and want to take my advice, open yourself up to new people, swap with people you don't know, swap with people that don't you don't think that have as much experience in making projects as you do i'm not saying that judy doesn't because obviously her work is gorgeous but sometimes you're just not sure of somebody 
and you know start small and swap with them give them a chance because if nobody took a chance on me when I started on YouTube um, you know I had like five subscribers that were family members and now I'm over 1200 and that's because some people took a chance on me I joined groups and I put myself out there and I know sometimes we get hurt from swaps and we get things that are you know that we don't necessarily like or you know uh, that's not our style but give give people a chance you know, it's a small crafting world, and, and be nice, and like Johnny um, says on her channel, uh, no, my, no biting, no scratching, um, I forgot the other thing that she says, but I, you know, every time I hear her say that, it's so true, uh, there's some, you know, drama that goes on in our crafting world sometimes, but um, open your heart up to new swappers, I, I guess that's my message for the day, but anyway, Judy, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into a... Um, a little speech but I've been wanting to say it it's been in my heart and I wanted to say it so thank you for letting me say it during your video and she sent me these oh these are so cute oh the little prima julie nutting woodcuts oh that is really cute another friend of mine sent me some too um, actually a whole jar of it so this will be great because I'm planning on altering all of them so Thank you, Judy. I appreciate your wonderful, generous, and loving package. Um, I know every time I do a swap and pack it up, it's, it's my favorite part of doing that because I like to put all the extra goodies in there and swap it, um, swap it <laughs> and pack it, you know, nicely. So anyway, yours is on your way. Hope you like everything. I'm sorry that it was a few days late. Um, and thank you, everyone, for stopping by and watching. Please subscribe and um, leave a comment. Thank you. Bye, everybody.